Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Oh, good evening, YouTube. I am back finally with you again. Um, <laughs> I got, I shouldn't say I got rid of my granddaughters today, but I finally, they finally went home. Um, their father got back from Florida late last night, and uh, they stayed till uh, it was two o'clock, I think, when I left this afternoon. Uh, they were all going to a wedding, so anyway, uh, I didn't really get a chance to do much videoing of my stuff uh, per se. I did a lot of videoing of their stuff. Um, they both had projects for school, and uh, I helped them with that. Uh, I tried to let them do as much as they could. Uh, I did most of the filming, videoing, whatever you want to call it, but uh, then they, they took it in Windows Movie Maker and cut it up the way they wanted it, which is good. I mean, they didn't learn stuff like that, I guess, but anyway, uh, that's all done now. So I, uh, I have an idea here how I want to do this speaker, and I thought well, I'd share that with you. Um, what I've done is basically laid it in here where it's going to go as far as fitting on the uh, frame and I uh, gonna what I'm going to do is tape it in here with some tape, masking tape, and try as best I can to uh, mark it to where I can um, basically cut it after I mark it. Try not to stick that too hard. Um, I want to. I want to try to get it on both sides if I can. And tape a little bit, not a lot. Um, this. Uh, like I said uh, once before, this is a little bit different style, I believe, of speaker. Either that, or I'm not—I'm not putting it in right, or something. I guess that's pretty close there. Let me put another piece of tape on this side. Again, not as much. I just want something to basically mark where it's supposed to go, and. go that route and probably one more on the other side um, I, I'd like to try to draw on the with a pencil maybe and get that in there as close as I can there we go now if we turn it over we can see a definite line here and what I'd like to do, there's a line there too, is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see that one or not, but if I think if I get start points, I can I can go from there maybe. I don't know whether the, the marker, marker would be better, and, you know, I'd leave it to where the marker is at. The girls have been here, and they, Papa, I want to borrow your Sharpie. Well, you know how that works. So, now I have no Sharpie, and that's the way it usually goes um, here. So I'm going to get a little bit closer here with this and see if I can actually make a mark on this. I apologize if I'm not getting all this in the frame. I've got the camera a little bit closer than normal. Uh, I just want to try to get the best picture I can with this. Uh, I think that's that's going to do that. Let's see if we if we got what we wanted here. Uh, take this off carefully. Not rip the cone. As I rip the cone, saying that, not really. Um, Alright. So 
suppose it'll show up on camera. But that's a pretty straight shot there. I think I can draw that in um, without too much hassle. These are pretty straight here, so I think straight cuts across will suit, will work that just fine. So I think I'm going to leave that uh, back tape on and see if I can draw this in to meet the other one. That's pretty darn good right there. I think if I cut on that side, I might have to trim a little bit, but I believe that'll be better. Of course, things won't stay the same way I want them to. That's a very uh, light line, but I, thanks to the light of the bench here, I think I can see it all right. So I'm going to try get cutting that out with the scissors. Again, they're they're probably gone. So you know, <laughs> I tell you, four days with the uh, 14 and 15 year old girls is not the best thing for a workshop. Um, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to take a break here and try to find the scissors. I I know they're here somewhere. Uh, I I'm sure they are. But, you know. All right, be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. No, uh, no luck on the sharpie, but I did find the scissors. So I thought they would be in the same place. Uh, one granddaughter is making a um, some kind of a little diorama of a um, a house, and she's been cutting up cardboard. She had my Exacto knives, but I did talk her into bringing those back. Um, so anyway, this is all I need for now anyway, so I just want to kind of want to cut this. I think I'm going to do this with the magnification light. Might be a little bit better. See what I'm doing. Put it, flip it back over and just see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Uh, it looks like I fudged it up a little bit there. Uh, that's not gonna be a problem to fix though, I don't think. I think this will work out. over this way a little bit when I glue it. difficult to do. Not impossible, but difficult. I think I may have to just sort of hold it for a while and see if I can get it to stay there. Uh, I don't know of another way of doing it. Um, maybe I tape it, but that tape, uh, I'm afraid that's going to peel off part of the cone when it comes off. I may have to do that, try that anyway, and see. Uh, for right now, I'm going to cut this off. It's getting kind of long. Um, next step I'm going to try to do, like I said, is secure this some way with tape or whatever um, to where I can I can glue this and have it stay there. 
uh, as it is right now, I, it just springs back when I when I move it. So it needs to be right there to glue it, and it just springs right back. So, anywho, that's what I'm going to try. I guess I could undo this tape, uh, maybe, and just pull it over this way until I, I get it where I want it, and then glue that side, and then work on this side. I don't know. We'll try something. But anyway, that's it for right now, so thanks for watching.